Hey Libra, welcome to your extended. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get into the energies, finish clarifying these cards and take it from there. Okay, so we are going to clarify what type of betrayal and backstabbing this, um, I heard hermit energy. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Excuse me. Um, this best friend, distorted feminine energy is doing or did. Clarify the backstabbing and the betrayal here, please. What's this backstabbing and betrayal here? Ooh, six of pentacles in the reverse. Did y'all see how did y'all see that? I hope y'all saw it. How it flipped over there. Mm. Child. Okay. So the Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take, reciprocity. In the reverse, this person was giving no equal give and take. This could be somebody who was just take, 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 taking, and they gave absolutely nothing here, okay? Um, you have the Four of Swords, the Lovers, the Fool, and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who I'm getting would like throw the, the throw the rock and hide their hand type energy. Okay, this is somebody who would um, offer you to do toxic things. Who would like just say gossip? Just say this person like to gossip, right? Or this person like to drink, all right? And just say you drink with them or you gossip with them once upon a time, right? But it's like that's the only energy that they were constantly in. And this is somebody who would who would drink or gossip, but then they would talk about you and be like, all you do is drink. All you do is gossip, but it's really them. It's them projecting that energy onto you. This is somebody who, like I said, they were not a giver. They were not a giver. This is somebody who would take, take, take. You could have given a lot to this person. Um, financially, you could have given a lot to this person energetically. You, you gave a lot to this um, this situation, to this person. You felt like this person was family, okay? Best friend. This could be, you could have called this person sister or brother. You felt like this was your best friend, your ace boom coon, your ride or die, okay? But um, I just feel like this person is giving me the snake in the in the snake and Eve type of vibes, you know, that manipulation type energy. Okay, for some of you, if this was a lover that betrayed or backstabbed you, you you also were the giver in this situation. Whoever this is, I feel like they want to heal something, or you're healing from this connection here. Um. I kind of feel like if this is a love situation or whoever this is, I feel like they're coming back. For, I heard coming back for round two. For some of y'all, they're coming back for round two, three, four, honey. I don't know how many times you've been dealt with this person. But they're coming back. They want to, uh, they got a, another offer for you. They want to offer you something, this new beginning here. They want to say that they've changed. They want to make things right here. But I feel like it's just an effort to confuse you about something here. Um, let's see, let me, let me get another deck and get some more energy on this. Mm. I'm trying to see what deck do I want to use to clarify this? I tell you what, give me some more of these. And let's see, clarify this betrayal, backstabbing, best friend. Clarify this betraying, backstabbing, best friend for Libra. What do we need to know? What's the energy of this, of this person? They could drive a black car. All right. Clarify this betraying, backstabbing friend for Libra. Clarify, please. Ooh, look. Did y'all see how smooth that landed? New opportunities here, okay? Um, this could be you, Libra, coming into new opportunities, windfall, 
um, of money, abundance. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be having a new job. Okay, maybe you're getting some type of sudden unexpected money or wealth or something like that. And again, I feel like I feel like anything that you had. You share it with this person, with this six of pentacles in, being in the reverse. But again, there was no reciprocity. So if you had money, then they had money. If you, you know what I'm saying? And if there was reciprocity, it wasn't, it was, it was, you know, very, very off balance. All right. All right. So this says, I regret it. Oh, you got the lovers that came out here. Why'd you stop talking to me and I want to marry you? And that came out in the reverse. So if this is whoever this is, whether it's lover or friend, they want to know why you stopped talking to them. Somebody regrets how they treated you. They want to say that they're sorry. Didn't I say something about apologies with this moon magic over here? They, they're they ashamed of something that they did. They, they regret it and they want to apologize. But I'm feeling like this person... They're not going to apologize for, they're not going to be like, oh, hey, Libra, um, I just wanted you to know that I was doing some moon magic and some spell work on you. I wanted you to be broke and busted and disgusted and fat and ugly and crying and alone. But I'm sorry, though. Can we get past this? Like, they ain't going to say that shit. They're going to come in and be like, because some of you, you just ghosted this person. Why would you stop talking to me? They don't even know what happened or they're going to act like they don't know what happened because they don't think that you know what happened. OK, they out here thinking that and telling people that, oh, I don't know why Libra stopped talking to me. I don't know what happened. Uh, Libra's been acting funny. They're putting the blame on you, basically. OK, but they know what they were doing behind your back or saying behind your back and things like that, but they don't know that you know. So they don't, they're not going to say anything, but they'll come to you like, um, Libra, if I did anything to hurt you or offend you, then I'm sorry. I apologize. I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened, but I want to make it right. I want to reconcile. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings or whatever. Just tell me what I did Why you stopped talking to me. Trying to act like they don't know what the hell they've been doing. You've been sitting here playing, playing and fucking spell work and shit behind my fucking back or, 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 or gossiping about me or slandering or whatever the fuck they were doing. Okay. If this was a love situation, this is somebody who put you in third party situation. This was somebody who was dishonest to you. Okay. They were non-committal to you. They could have disrespected you in some type of way. Yeah. I want to marry you in the reverse. Damn it. They were non-committal. This could also be somebody who ran off to give a commitment to another person. Okay. Child, bye. Anything else for this? Um, Tell me, mm, give me something about this best friend. What's it, what is this best friend doing? What can we know? What is this best friend doing? Oh, I just saw Kitchen Witch. So something about the noon, the afternoon. Tell me about this best friend. What kind of moon magic or spell work or manipulation was this best friend doing for a Libra? Whatever it is, they about to get karma for it. Okay. I'm hearing, thank you for being a friend, but not though. <laughs> Something about a son, somebody's son. Oh, I hope somebody was, child, you know what? Hex spell curse on the bottom of the deck. Oh, I hope somebody wasn't doing something to somebody's son. If somebody was doing spell work on somebody's child, particularly a son, oh, they get in big karma for this. Something about April. We in April. This could be coming to light in April. This could have happened last April. Give me more. Give me more on this. What is this person doing? I, I don't think I need any more, though. They were heck spelling or cursing you. Um, if this isn't your son, then this could be somebody's son that was doing this to you. This could be a masculine energy. Child, didn't I say somebody wanted to be y'all in the, in the first part of the reading? The copycat energy. You got Saturday out here. I'm hearing a lot of lonely Saturday nights. So this person could be spending a lot of lonely Saturday nights um, right now. July is here. 
could be dealing with a um a Cancer, a Gemini, Aries, Taurus. Look, I want to be in your skin. Somebody like wanted to be you so bad, like they would literally child look. I can't even. They would literally take your skin off and wear it for a costume if they could. Paying for spell work. Thank you, thank you for the confirmation, Holy Spirit. Thank you. And now they want reconciliation after they <laughs> Woo! All right. Done with that. Let's see. What else do we need to clarify? Um, we know that whoever this is was doing beauty spells. They were doing some money spells. They were doing some moon magic here. This was a fake and phony person, distorted feminine. For some of you, this could be a masculine who is in their feminine energy, a narcissist person here. Okay. What's this divine intervention? Why is that here? Because divine intervention means that Holy Spirit stepped in or your ancestors stepped in on your behalf and they did something here. So this could have just been like a return to sender type situation. This could have been just a they shed it all the way down type situation. Something intervened here. What's the divine intervention? Clarify, please. Mm, five of wands. This person may be forced to make amends with you. They may have to apologize to you, okay? Do you have to accept their apology? No. And if they don't have to apologize to you face to face, trust me, if if and when they repent, because if this is a church goer or now they've all of a sudden started going to church or they know about church now, it's something about church. They know something about church, okay? And and they probably go on there try to repent or they're probably praying now, okay? So this person, one way or the other, they're going to have to make amends for whatever it is that they have been doing to you, okay, behind your back because you walked away from this person, all right? But the five of wands is what they were doing behind your back after you walked away from them because you left them behind. But the five of wands in reverse, that's like no chaos, no, no drama, no fighting, no arguing. I just feel like this person is going to have to make amends. Now you got the king of wands coming out here. We got the queen of wands over here and the two of swords. You could have walked away from a Pisces, a Sagittarius, Libra. This is your energy, but you could have been dealing with another Libra, a Cancer, an Aquarius, or a Leo. And Gemini, Scorpio, Capricorn. Something about Nigeria. Something about the Nagas. That's that's in this um what is this deck called? My Martian Oracle deck. The Nagas, that's like lover's energy. So Gemini. Something about sex or sex magic. Somebody could have sent somebody toward you to try to block you or something like that. But I feel like whoever that person is, you cut them off too. You like, it ain't nothing to cut this bitch off. <laughs> Libra. So, I just feel like the divine intervention was if somebody left your life, even if it made no sense to you, you could have got into an argument with this person or with somebody for absolutely no reason. And it seems to make no sense to you. And it seemed like it came completely out of left field, out of no damn where. You like, we have, we've we been good. Where did this come from? What's going on? 1444 on the timer. I feel like that was supposed to happen because this was somebody that you were supposed to walk away from and block off whoever if if you have somebody in your energy like that 
and that happened and you can resonate with that scenario, then that was the divine intervention. That person walking away from you was the divine intervention because you could have, you're not about the drama and the arguing and shit like that, Libra. So this person could have came at you like that and you shut it down and then they walked away or you walked away from them or that situation came to an end. But that was the divine intervention. Whatever that argument, that disagreement was, whoever that person is that ghosted you or left you or walked away from you for absolutely no sensible reason, that was the divine intervention. This person could have also been the narcissist here because this person had no business in your energy in the first place. And that's why that happened. It could have made no sense to you at the time. You was like, what, 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 what just happened? It could have been like, child, you could have tripped over this person's foot on accident. Okay. And they just blew up at you. And you like, what the hell? What? Yeah. That was supposed to happen. You were supposed to see a side of that person. And um, 1616 16 on the timer. So that you would know that this is somebody that you needed to cut off, block off, and get out, get about your energy. Okay, that was the divine intervention. Who, wee wee wee. Um, what else do we need to know? Anything else we need to know from this deck, Holy Spirit, about the karmic energies around Libra? Anything else? There you are showing up. A Libra. Libra. So, Libra. Somebody's about to be sad. In the five of cups into G because you didn't want to deal with them anymore. Okay. You have the emperor that came out. You got the queen of swords, which is your energy. The Ace of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come in and collaborate with you and work with you. Now, I think, because I, I think I picked, I think they fell. I think the Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles may have fallen in the reverse. I did pick them up in the upright. But I'm just getting that, you know, whoever these karmic energy is or, or they don't want this person to collaborate with you. They don't want this person to come toward you. They don't want you to have new love with this person. They don't want you to reconcile, I mean, to come into collaboration with anybody, okay? Somebody does not want you to have this new love, okay? But I did pick it up in the up, right? You're getting it anyway. You got the emperor out here, the queen of swords, the nine of pentacles, success and victory. And this person going to be in the five of cups sad. This is how they wanted you, Okay. There could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries, maybe another Libra or a Virgo coming toward you. Okay. Mm-hmm. And something about a soul contract. And something about heal your broken heart. Are you healing somebody's broken heart? Let's see what the um I keep getting drawn to this sister energy because I don't feel like I left that in the right way. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to clarify. Okay. I know y'all this looks a hot mess. Just bear with me. I wanted to get some some physical traits of this cousin, uncle, auntie. Because I'm just trying to see something. But before I... Before I do that... I want to see what happened, but I don't know what deck to pull from. Um, okay. Uh, 
Okay. So with that energy, I was saying that something happened when somebody was younger. There was some type of trauma, maybe a trauma bond. There's something that a sibling, a sister can't get over. And then there's something about an auntie, an uncle, and a cousin. Libra. Queen of Swords, Lovers. There's a tower. Okay, let's see. What is, what is this? I don't even know if I would want to know what this is, but somebody may need to know. I'm hearing juvenile delinquent. I mean, I'm here like halfway home, foster care or something. Maybe somebody grew up in foster care or had to go to foster care or something like that. What is this energy surrounding this, this aunt, aunt and uncle or this, what did I say? This, I said aunt and uncle child. This aunt, uncle and cousin and this sister. What is this? What is this energy? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Page of Swords. Somebody saw something. Somebody knows something. Somebody. Yep, Queen of Swords. That Queen of Swords is also about speaking the truth here. Yeah, Nine of Swords. Somebody is holding something in and they have nightmares about something. Something keeps somebody up at night and it's some type of truth or some type of knowing of the truth. And I feel like it keeps somebody up at night. Somebody knows what happened. Or they saw what happened. Or they, they witnessed something here. Yep, Ten of Swords. Betrayal, backstabbing. All right. Um... Yeah, somebody has nightmares because they like know the truth, but I feel like somebody may have turned a blind eye to the truth, but, the, but they're hung up on it. And somebody just moved on to a new beginning here. They were just like, yeah, put it in the past, leave it in the past. We're not going to talk about it. But I feel like somebody now wants to talk about it. Somebody could be in therapy. Or thinking about going to therapy, yeah, judgment. Something's coming out, and somebody now wants to talk about it, okay? Because they want to close whoever this is, this sister. This could be you. This could be your sister. This could be the both of you, okay? And Or this could be somebody in your energy. But whatever this situation is, this, there could be somebody could be seeing a therapist or a counselor or something, but they want to close this chapter. Somebody is trying to work through this energy so that they can get past it and move on to new opportunities because i'm hearing something about masking the pain somebody doesn't want to hide anything anymore somebody doesn't want to mask it anymore with the judgment card they want it to be out in the open here okay whatever this energy is and i'm i mean y'all know i'm pretty sure y'all know what i'm feeling that it is all right i don't really want to touch on that but i feel like somebody's getting some some help here or they're about to, or they're talking to somebody about this, or they want to talk to somebody about this. They they want this to come out. And again, this could be them just talking about it in therapy sessions. I'm also getting somebody could have wrote a book about it. Let me see. There was a betrayal here. And I feel like... This had, there was, there was some adults. Yeah, somebody turned a blind eye to whatever this was. Look at that, look at that eight of cups with their back turned and the three of wands here with their back turned. Somebody turned a blind eye to something instead of facing it head on. This was like a family secret. Somebody didn't want to deal with it. They just well, kept it on the hush. What does this auntie and uncle cousin have to do with this situation? Somebody paid somebody? Somebody 
somebody could have paid somebody to leave after they found something out. Somebody made somebody an offer and told them to just leave. So I feel like after whatever this secret came out, somebody was like, just leave. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, don't, don't turn, come back. Don't collect, don't pass gold. Don't collect $200. Just leave. Okay. This is over. Just walk out of my life here. Okay. You need to just leave. But I feel like in doing that, they gave this person an out. Like there was no authority figures called. There was, there was not even an ass whooping for this person. They just got to leave. They got found out. And I, and the page, there's two pages here. Well, there's really three. There's three pages out here. And the page are young energies. They they often can represent children. And there's a damn sun card out here. So this is a whole nother child. There's a child on the sun card. So, hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'm good on that energy. Because somebody saw something, somebody knows something. And somebody made an offer to somebody to just leave. If this was a marriage and somebody was like, you know, with the kids, they just, they just left. You know what I'm saying? They were just like, just give me a divorce. Just leave, pack your shit and leave or something like that. But there was no authorities called. There was no charges filed. There was no, this, they didn't even chase this motherfucker off with a shotgun. They didn't even whoop this nigga ass. Like, I'm sorry for that, y'all. But, ugh. okay, I'm done with that energy because I'm just, I'd just rather be done with it, okay? Um, I'm going to get some physical traits for whoever needs them for whatever the situation may be. If you resonate with it, you resonate with it. If you don't, then it's not for you, okay? Give me physical traits of the karmic energies surrounding the collective. Give me physical traits of the karmic energies out here in this reading so that the collective can know who they are. Please and thank you. So somebody could be muscular. They could, could like to work out. Somebody could be blonde. Mm. Oh, damn. You got June and December. I'm gonna take them both. Okay, somebody could be a Gemini. Somebody could be um, a Capricorn, a Sagittarius. What else is June? Gemini. What Cancer? Somebody could be a Gemini, Cancer. What else? Somebody could have an oval shaped face. Somebody could have green or brown eyes, hazel or brown eyes. They could have a beard or no beard. This man, this card, they flew out. They flew out cross. So they could have a beard or not have a beard. Okay, but there's definitely masculine energy out here. Um, you got a, a black guy. You got a white guy out here. Somebody could have brown hair or black hair. Um, hazel eyes, brown eyes. I'm also hearing somebody could be bald. If they weren't bald then, they're bald now. Somebody is buff. Somebody goes to the gym. They're like a gym rat, likes to work out. Or somebody's like athletic or something like that. Okay? If somebody could have a dry skin, they could be extremely older than you. Okay? I mean, if... Oh, bye. All right. Short nose, skinny, pert nose, rough skin, heavy lower lip. One more. Anything else? We need to know about these karmic energies. Anything else? Okay, you got olive skin or dark skin, darker skin than you. Somebody could have a heart-shaped face. They could be plump. Something about the summertime. I, did I say something about the summertime in the first reading? I don't know. Something about the summertime. Summer, summer, summertime. Somebody could have fair skin, Okay. Bushy eyebrows. Somebody could be, if you got September, March out here, Libra, this is you. 
Okay. Um, it could be another Libra. It could be a Virgo. It could be Pisces, Aries. Auburn hair, medium build, puffy hair or curly hair. Might have freckles, blue or green eyes. All right. So let's get the karmic energy for the person that is on your mind when it comes to a love situation. Your twin flame, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, and their karmic in their situation. Let's see what's going on with that. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. Burning angels, answers to spirit. Guys, thank you for the messages so far. Can we take a peek into the collective's divine masculine, divine feminine, and see what is going on with them and their karmic energies, okay? What does their person want to say to them? What's going on with the karmic? I'm hearing 4 a.m. and my lover won't answer. Probably somewhere with the dancer. 3131. Sipping champagne while I'm in his room. It's 4 a.m. and I think I might lose it. I think I'm thinking I'm stupid. Honey knows 4 a.m. All right. Somebody says, just hold on. I'm coming home. Your person said they're coming home, girl, because sleeping next to them just doesn't feel right. <laughs> they want to come home to you because sleeping next to the karmic just don't feel right, child. And they now realize that it's always been you. Okay. And they can feel a shift or a change coming. Maybe you can feel it too. Somebody hopes to run into you when they when they out in public here. And they've been researching twin flame soulmate past life connections, honey. That's how they know that it's always been you. Okay. What else? Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know about the divine feminine, divine masculine, and their karmic connections? What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? Burning angels and sensitive spirit guides. Give me messages, accurate, clear messages for the collective, please. And thank you. Look, he or she knows how I feel about you. Yeah, whoever they land with, they know how they feel about you. Bottom of the deck, it says, I took him once, him or her once, I could do it again. Sign the karmic. I won't give up without a fight, the karmic. I said at the beginning of the first reading, somebody is not going to stop doing something here, okay? This karmic is not going to stop doing their spell work. They're not going to stop doing that manipulation. I just saw 3311 and 3313 on the timer, okay? They're not going to stop until they... Child. Child. Yeah, they're going to have to stop because, you know, divine intervention. Hello. The karmic is cheating. Mm. Hold on, y'all. Let me see what I'll put over here. Okay. I often think about the good times we had. I use sex to manipulate, control the masculine. Didn't I say something about some sex magic? Um, And then time is running out. This person knows the time is almost out. Okay. They know that time is um the time is running out here and they're about to miss out on their opportunities if they haven't already. Okay. The karmic is raging, honey. A uh, little breaking dishes by Rihanna, honey. The karmic is breaking dishes all night. They mad about something, child. Cause this <laughs> cause this person is leaving. Okay, you got voodoo high priestess here. This person probably was doing spell work on this person. Well, they said they was, they was doing sex magic, okay? Yep, look. Karm Child, I'm telling you, they, they said they're not going to stop. Karmic does spell work constantly to keep this person away from you. I'm telling you, this person knows that you a real one, okay? And look, constant arguing, fighting, and drama, Child. Anything? You, you made me wait too long. I'm gone. That's what um some of y'all are saying. You made me wait too long. I'm gone. Yeah, y'all, it's like, mm -mm, your time is up. Time is running out. Look, too little, too late. Some of y'all don't want to hear it. The majority of y'all probably don't want to hear it. I know he or she still misses and thinks about you, the karmic. Um, did I do something to hurt your feelings? Shaba. I can't stop thinking about you, especially at night. New phone. Who is this? 
contact don't exist okay this person may try to contact you you got them blocked they may contact you from a different number you're gonna be like who is this and if they tell you your name for some of you you still gonna be like who is this or wrong number <laughs> who you looking for <laughs> please just give me a little more time this person said give them a little more time Libra. give them a little more time they're working on it look they want to know if I call, will you pick it up on some nights like this? Baby, I can't help but think of us. Yeah, didn't he just say, I can't stop thinking about you, especially at night? <laughs> Baby, what's with all this distant love? If I call, will you pick it up? <laughs> you gonna get your hopes high, girl. Yeah, somebody got their hopes high, and then you gonna just whew, shoot them down, child. Look, I constantly watch and stalk your social media. That could be this person and or the karmic, okay? Both of them probably watch it and stalk your social media. I'm going to get a few more and get up out of here. Yep, the spell, work is, the spell work isn't working anymore. I'm sorry to tell you I'm sorry for breaking your heart. That's all they want you to do, pick up the phone so they can tell you that they're sorry for breaking your heart, Libra. It wasn't me. It was the spell work. Okay. Dang, Libra. It was the spell work. It wasn't me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, y'all don't mind me. All right. Karmic is angry. Yeah, look, the spell work isn't working anymore. And Karmic is angry because the spell work manipulation is no longer working. Yeah, they know this person about to be released, child. They know this person. Somebody asking mutual friends or your friends about you. Have you seen Libra? Where they at? Where they moved to? They still live here? Where they work at? They still got the same phone number? How can I get in contact with them? Can you call them for me on three-way? What's going on? <laughs> because it isn't over, Libra. They said it's not over. Okay. The person said it's not over. All right. I'm going to take these two. Look, child, look, the karmic is cheating, but this person don't care. He said, I don't even care if the karmic cheats, child. At this point, they don't care. They hoping that the karmic cheats so they can have a reason to leave, child. And look, she, the karmic say, I'm afraid you can love him better than I can. And I just was channeling that song, too. I can love you better than she can. Some of you like, I can, but I won't. <laughs> like I did, okay? But, you know, it's... He left anyway. Look, karmic, spell work, backfiring and failing. And this person was just using this karmic for a meal ticket or this karmic was using this person for a meal ticket, for money, for finances, for stability here. Okay. All right. I said that was it. These are the last two, for real. Look, right here on the bottom of the deck, it says this can't be over. I'm hearing we can be friends. I'm still in love with you and i don't want to hear shit about my damn singing i know i didn't hit that damn note so shut up oh wait y'all don't do that over here i don't think <laughs> that'd be on youtube all right um but oh look somebody is getting a divorce child i said i'm waiting on the pay oh that was on the bottom of the deck wasn't it i thought i saw i'm getting a divorce okay i don't know where it went but anyway it says, I'm just waiting on the paperwork to be finalized, boo. So just hold on. I'm coming home. I'm just waiting on the paperwork to be finalized because you and I are distant to be. Okay. I right, Libra. Let me see. Do you need anything else from me? Um, let me get some dates out here for you. Sorry if that's loud, y'all. My bad. Let's see what we got going on here. What do we need to know? Your Libra, some messages, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. A couple more, a couple more, a couple more. A couple more. All right, that's cool. All right, so we got Gemini. 30 days. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold all these up because these are little bitty papers. I don't know why I made them so little. Don't ask me. I just thought it was cute. Okay, I had this extra paper and I made these little thingies. But you got Gemini, something about 30 days. You may want to mark your calendar for 30 days, okay? 30 days from now, but not from 
the time I post or from whenever you watch this video, okay? Gemini energy you could be dealing with. Capricorn. Okay, somebody's birthday could be on the 27th or the 28th of a month. Something about the next seven days. Mark your calendar for seven days. All right, um, January 27th, January 28th. Aquarius, January 21st, January 22nd, January 23rd, January 24th. You could be seeing angel number 757, 1010, something about 36 hours. For some of you, it's all going to be different times. So y'all may just want to mark them all, okay? Seven days, 30, 30 days, 36 hours. You may get some type of confirmation of this message. You may see one of these angel numbers that I'm calling out or something like that, okay? Um, if this does happen, y'all let me know what kind of confirmation you got, okay? 777-929-9999. Oh, phone call. Okay, so for some of you, this could be a phone call that you're going to receive here. So let me know if that happens, okay? January the 1st, somebody could be life path number 1, 888. Um, number 3, January the 3rd, you could be life path number 3, June 3rd, June 4th, June 27th, June 28th, June 21st, June 22nd, June 23rd, June 24th, 554, April of all those dates, 3rd, 1st, 27, 28, 21, 22, 23, 24, April, okay? Um, 822, eight hours. Check your voicemail in eight hours. Or if somebody somebody may call you in eight hours, seven days. Somebody may call you in one of these time frames, okay? And if you don't answer the phone, they're going to leave a voicemail. Some of you may need to check your voicemail in eight hours, okay? That's not for everybody. Pisces, Libra, July of all of them dates that I said. October of all of them dates that I said. Y'all, please don't make me say these dates again, okay? 818. August. I'll say them again at the at the end, okay? Let me get all the, the things out first. Cancer. You could be seeing 2277. Um, you could be waiting on a package. So you may get a delivery in one of these time frames as well. So that may be what that is as well. Um 553 September is out here. Check your tires. I'm hearing rotation. Some of you may need to rotate your tires in 14 days, okay? So, dates, August, July, June, September, and April, January, October. The 10th, the 1st, the 27th, the 28th, the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, and the 24th, okay, of any of those months. Um, and I just heard, I don't know why I keep hearing Sagittarius so loudly today. It's Sagittarius has been heavy, heavy, heavy energy today. I don't know what that is. Um, let me get a sacred light oracle for y'all to wrap this up. Just some positive vibes or messages or advice or something here. Okay. Holy Spirit, please give me one sacred light oracle card to wrap up this reading what is the final message that you want Libras to have right now for this read please and thank you what's the final message you would like Libra to have right now for this read holy spirit one card please feel it there it is <laughs> I, was gonna say, I feel it coming all right so we have golden light ray all right number 16 could be significant for somebody it's might be life path number seven love and laughter receiving and giving gifts passionate projects all right let me read this for y'all real quick It says, floating on the golden ray, Ascension Master Lord Maitreya, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, disrupts dense and melancholic, melancholic emotions. He encourages you to see the lighter side of life so that laughter and comedic relief can benefit you. Use color therapy, pause, and take a breath. Laughter is medicine for the soul. Generosity and abundance follow the golden ray wherever it leads. It is pure divinity that seeks to heal those who access its frequency. Much like the setting sun, its color is warm and luminous, settling our soul when we feel its glow. 
always uplifting, the golden ray will shower you with warmth and comfort and fulfillment as it settles the highs and lows of emotions, shifting feelings of loss and emptiness within the psyche of your soul. Oh, the sacred crystal is opal. If y'all saw the first reading, I kept saying something about opal. Okay. So the affirmation is, I am golden. I am radiant. I am abundant. I accept these gifts with an open heart. All right, Libra. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys for joining me in the extended. Um, I hope you got something out of the reading. And until next time, I wish you all peace, love, prosperity, and abundance. All right. See y'all later. Bye.